doing a reading for Aries, a weekly reading. Whoops. Okay. Try that again. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'm picking up the energy that's circling around me. Okay. And we all possess free will. So you know your story. Don't take what's not yours. Don't force anything to fit that doesn't. And um, cross watchers are welcome. Uh, just keep in mind that rules may be reversed. And any messages from spirit are timeless which means if you're here with me now and you clicked on here, there's a message here for you. Okay, we're gonna do a Celtic cross. We're gonna do your energy, your person's energy, your intention, your person's intention, what you think, what they think, external, internal, spirit's advice, and the outcome. Okay, so let's get started here. Okay, your energy is coming up as the Two of Wands. You have the world, you have all you need, you have your wands, you have a possibility of giving another wand to somebody, but you have the world you have to pick up. So you only have your two hands, one for your wand, one for your world. You're going solo. You're strategizing about what you want, what you're looking for, what you'll accept, okay? Your person's energy. Is the eight of wands cupid zero possibly wanting to love bomb you or come in fast quickly okay they don't want to miss you they don't want to miss out on you okay it's a quick moving energy acting they're they're there they're acting right away okay your intention is to walk away from this, to go to calmer waters, perhaps. Okay. So that's your intention. Their intention is to give you a cup of love. They want to love you. Okay. Let's see. You think moon that there's some hidden secrets or something that needs to come to light that is in the dark is something that's unseen and you feel kind of confused about it you're not really either you're seeing it and you don't want to see it or you're just not seeing it at all okay that's the moon, something mysterious. Let's see, your person thinks mm, that there's going to be a tower. Maybe they feel there's a life change coming their way or something has to happen or s stagnant or boom. <laughs> now it's changing with the tower. So but just remember, one thing ends, something new comes in, something better comes in, right? Something that is more aligned to what you're looking for comes in. What's your external? External is the lovers. Perhaps you're um, lovable. Maybe there's somebody that's interested in you if you're not with somebody already. Knight of Pentacles, this is your internal fears, is that perhaps somebody from your past is going to come back. They've been taking a long time to get there, and you're wondering if they're ever going to show up. Maybe you've moved on because you're not going to entertain this or wait for this any longer. Okay. Spirit's advice is that you have options. Okay, Aries? You have options out there. Don't settle. If you're settling, don't. There's other options there that are looking for you. Okay? And what you're looking for, too. Alright. The outcome is justice. Karma. 
Good karma? Bad karma? You know your story. Balancing of the scales, though. So. Let's clarify. Let's see what your challenge is. It's on the bottom of the deck. Mm. Three of Cups. Could be a third party with the lovers here. Or, and the tower. The lovers and the tower. Could have been about other options, perhaps. Getting justice for somebody maybe fooling around on you. In any case, you know your story, Aries. Could have been some type of celebration. That could be the challenge that you have to go to and you really don't want to. But you're going to have to anyway. <laughs> you know? Alright, let's see and let's clarify. Alright. <clears throat> the two ones is your energy. It's clarified by the two of swords and that is making a choice. You are making a choice without all the information, which is clear here with the moon. Confusion, mystery, secrets, fears, sinking. <laughs> so you don't, you're blindfolded, so you don't have all the information yet. You still have to make a choice. And it's either you are making the choice or the universe will. Okay? And that is your energy being. You have to make a choice whether you're going to give that one to someone else and go with them or if you're going solo, maybe. Maybe that's your choice. What's the Eight of Wands, Aries? What's the Eight of Wands? That's your person. Your person's energy is Ten of Pentacles. So they might be quite wealthy. And they're very fast moving energy. So they get things done, it looks like. And they get them done fast and effective <laughs> because they have the Ten of Pentacles. So they could be fairly wealthy, this person. All right, you think the moon with the emperor. So could be that this person is mysterious to you. Maybe you don't know them. Maybe this is a new person coming in for you, okay? So it could be that they are here for you. Are, is the emperor here? No, okay. So. It could be mysterious, somebody you don't know. Maybe they're the opposite of you. Polar opposites. The emperor. Maybe they have secrets. This is the tower. That's your person thinks. Ah, because there is some confusion around the situation. They're not seeing clearly with the tower with you. Okay, Aries? Because this is your person's energy, or they think this is what your person thinks that there's going to be a tower, or that you're going to end things perhaps because of some secrets. You know your story, but in any case, your intention is defensive. You're going to calmer waters. Right? Ace of Cups. Chariot. They want to move quickly. They want to come in with love. They want success. They want to have a victory with you. They are winning at all costs. The lovers. Let's find out what is the lovers about? long-term stability with the lover's card could be your pentacles are starting to grow and are almost at harvest okay or it could just be that it's gonna take a minute for things to happen knight of pentacles these are your internal fears 
Your internal fear is about moving or I think that this is just what you feel. You feel about any relationship you have, it is a long-term relationship. You are not one of those people that is, um, how do you say that? <laughs> I don't want to say promiscuous, but um, you know, you you're not out there just to have fun with people you're you're looking for long-term love okay and a commitment a marriage possibly or some kind of relationship okay and you're going to take your time to do it seven of cups is options spirit says and they want you to take a different option or whatever option you choose is take a leap of faith okay make the move justice is here for your work about your work so perhaps to make money you're getting financial justice perhaps you're going to work and it is going to make you a lot of money Okay, Aries, and to clarify the Three of Cups, we have the Ace of Swords, so a new beginning, possible new beginning, but has to have truth, and if there's any three-party bullshit, I guarantee you, that ain't going to happen, they know, they know the truth, Aries, you know the truth, so any three-party kind of thing uh, or any celebration maybe maybe there's a new beginning if you go to the celebration maybe that's your challenge is you have to go to the celebration because there's something there for you okay Aries maybe that is your message from spirit that you need to go to this celebration maybe a Christmas celebration or or going home for Christmas or well, you know your story in any case, um, perhaps you have to go to this this party or whatever because there's something there for you. Okay? And that's what Spirit's kind of saying here. But I'd like to clarify. We're going to keep that card out for you to clarify that. But I'd like to clarify the moon and the tower because we have you made a choice the person was fast moving to to get to making ten of pentacles so maybe they ghosted you to go to work they needed to make some money maybe they didn't feel that there was maybe they felt lack um, or that was too much unknown or something was forced but the tower happened in any case your intention was to go you're standing up for yourself you didn't you whatever happened here you're not you're taken off you're not standing there for another second okay now your person wants to give you the love at all, and they want to win at all cost with the chariot you know it's like a race or a competitive type of um, mentality okay they want to give you that love who's the emperor what's the emperor and the moon about spirit can I get one more card thank you and the other one fell on the floor Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So we have the King of Cups. We've got the Lovers. And then we have the Ace or the Page of Wands. 
which is uh, giving an olive branch out. Like they want to, the emperor, maybe they were very loving. Maybe they were someone that you were with There were secrets. Maybe they exposed the emperor on their secrets. Because here with the tower, it's because there were secrets, right? The tower and, and the moon, there was secrets. Something came to light or ended and the emperor, and there's some, there's a king of cups here too, that wants to give to you. Maybe somebody tells you something about somebody else that you didn't know and could change your perspective of going forward. Well, Aries, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading and take care please send some love my way with uh, the share like and subscribe don't forget about that notification bell for your future christie's divine design tarot messages from spirit okay aries i hope you have a great day and take care